Okay, so I'm going to try to do this kind of free response question here, and it's just a graph. And on my graph, you can see numbers, and I want you to try to pretend that they're not there because on the AP exam, you would not see those numbers. It would just give you the graph, and it's, you'd have some explanation like this. Let f be the function given by f of x is equal to 4x squared minus x cubed, and let l be the line y equals 18 minus 3x where L is tangent to the graph of F, let R be the region bounded by the graph of F and the x-axis, and let S be the region bounded by the graph of F, the line L and the x-axis. That's a lot of stuff, and I apologize for that, but it's just it's a lot of stuff because it's a lot of stuff. So, well, let me, I guess, tell you this. I'm less concerned about this graph right here because it doesn't give me a ton of information currently. Um, but I can see that these, these two functions do intersect, um, they look like they're this relationship, the line L is tangential. So it says here, show that L, show that L is tangent to the graph of y equals f of x at x equals 3. What you really want to do here is find the line tangent. So here's our equation. f of x is equal to 4x squared minus x cubed. Um, I guess what I might do here is because we're interested in this, you got to kind of pay attention to the facts here. They give us this thing down here, don't they? They give us this mess down here. So because they give us this x value right here, I think I'm going to take f of 3 and just find what this point, what I'm trying to figure out now is what is that point right there. So it's f of 3, so f of 3 is equal to, do the math, uh, 36 minus 27-ish which is equal to 9. So this is the point 3, 9 right here. Now what I want to do is I want to find out what is the equation of the line tangent to this green function right here. And my proof here will be if it comes out to be the same as this, then we've shown or we've proven or evidence that this is the line tangent. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to take the first derivative here, right, because I need to find the slope, right? I need to find the slope right here. So I'm going to take, I'm going to try to find f prime at x. And f prime at x is equal to, right, 8x, right, I'm just using the power rule. I'm not, yeah, I'm using the power rule here, uh, minus 3x squared, right? And then what I'm going to do is try to find out, well, what's the slope of the function right here? And the slope of the function right here is, well, we're at f of 3, so the slope would be f prime at 3, wouldn't it? That's a 3, I swear it is. f prime at 3, which would be... would be 24 minus 27, right? 24 minus 27. And at x is 3, the slope is, is negative 3. Now, that's a kind of a good sign because, look, the slope of this line down here is also negative 3. That doesn't, that's not proof, but if that wasn't true, that would be proof that it wasn't, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm going to move forward. Now, I'm going to use just, I'm going to use, if you don't mind, I'm going to use point slope form, right? Point slope form. Why point slope form? Because I want to know the equation of the line tangent. I suspect it's the red line, but I'm, I have to prove it. So remember, the point slope form is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m minus x minus x sub 1. But we're in calculus, aren't we? So we know that we have a slope here of negative 3, don't we? And that's this slope right here negative 3, we have a slope of negative 3, when x, right, when x, when x is 3, so I'm going to take this x out right here and put in 3, so that pink 3 up there is this 3 right here, right, and we also know that f of 3 is 9, right, we figured that out, that's that point right here that we're using, right, isn't it, so I'm going to take this out, if you don't mind, I'm going to put in 9, hopefully you can see that okay. I'm going to just do some very straightforward algebra here. Uh, and this gives me negative 3x, right? Remember, negative times a negative is a positive. Be really careful here. It's equal to y minus 9. I'm going to add 9 to both sides to get this into slope-intercept form. And we get y, right, is equal to negative 3x plus 18, which is equal to L. So here's our proof. Right, and this is the equation of the line tangent. Equation of line tangent 
2 f at x equals 3 check mark all right so there's our proof all right good work uh, take good note